Good afternoon and welcome to the University of Southern Mississippi's Spring 2021 Commencement Ceremony. I'm Rodney Bennett, President of the University of Southern Mississippi. Please remain standing for the presentation of our colors by the Army ROTC Color Guard and the performance of our national anthem led this afternoon by Mr. Aubrey Garrett Benefield. Thank you, you may be seated. Commencements at the University of Southern Mississippi are wonderful occasions as we acknowledge the achievements of our students and recognize the contributions that family, friends, and our USM faculty and staff have made to their education. For those of you who are able to join us in person, thank you for being here. And for those of you who are viewing the ceremony online, thank you for being a part of this very special occasion for our graduates. I would like to extend special thanks to each individual who supported our graduates for entrusting the education of your loved ones to the University of Southern Mississippi. It has been our privilege to have assisted them in getting to this very important day. Students, please join me in thanking your family and loved ones for their support with a round of applause. The past year has certainly changed so many things about our world, but it has also helped to remind us of the important moments like this one, moments where we can celebrate a milestone and create a memory to cherish for years to come. I would like to extend a special welcome and acknowledgement to each graduate from our spring 2020, summer 2020 or fall 2020 class who is participating this afternoon. Although we were unable to host commencement ceremonies last year, I am so pleased that you were able to return to what is now your alma mater to commemorate this special milestone. If you completed your degree in the year 2020, 
please stand if you're able to do so. Thank you all, you may be seated. I would also like to welcome each of our spring 21 degree candidates as you conclude your course of study here at the University of Southern Mississippi, I am so pleased that you have chosen to participate in our in-person ceremony this year. I'd like to say a quick word about graduate education and graduate school. Graduate education is a critical part of our institutional mission. As such, I would like to acknowledge the university's newest graduate degree holders, several of whom are here for their degrees to be conferred today. For those of you who have just completed your graduate degree, I'm so proud that you are among more than 220 doctoral students and more than 950 specialist and master's students who completed advanced degrees from our institution this past year. And for those of you who have just completed your baccalaureate degree, it is my hope that you will one day join their ranks by pursuing advanced study here at the University of Southern Mississippi, especially as you continue to grow what is sure to be a promising future. I'd like to take a moment to thank our faculty and our staff for their hard work to continue educating our students in a year truly like no other. I know that many of them are watching the ceremony online in support of our graduates. And so I'll pause here and once again ask our graduating class if you might help me express deep appreciation for the contributions of our faculty and staff towards your success with a round of applause. <laughs> Military service to our country is among the highest forms of patriotism and selflessness. I now invite all graduating students and members of the audience who are veterans, active military or reservists, or newly commissioned officers to please stand if you are able to do so. As president of the University of Southern Mississippi and on behalf of our faculty and staff and all of our alumni all around the world, we thank you for your service, past, present, and future. I'd like to take a moment now to introduce members of the platform party who will not be presented later in the ceremony. I would like to ask each person to stand and to remain standing, and if the audience would please hold your applause until each individual has been recognized. I'll begin here to my immediate right Providing sign interpretation for today's ceremony is Ms. Margot Buisson. Dr. Wesley Follett, Commencement Grand Marshal. Ms. J.C. Percy, President of the Gulf Park Student Government Association. Ms. Heather Miller, representing graduate students. And Mr. John McFarlane, our ceremonial reader. Please help me in thanking these individuals for being here. Thank you, Thank you. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce to the podium the executive director of the Southern Miss Alumni Association, Mr. Jerry DeFatta. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Southern Miss Alumni Association, congratulations to our returning alumni who have now earned a second or third Southern Miss degree. We are so glad that you chose to continue your education here at your university. And congratulations to our newest alumni. 
Thank you for choosing Southern Miss as your institution of choice, and welcome to the club. As graduates of the University of Southern Mississippi, you are all part of an ever-growing group of more than 130,000 proud Southern Miss alumni scattered throughout the world. Because of your alumni status, you have a golden opportunity to be part of our alumni association. I encourage you to get engaged, become, or remain an active member. We need you to help us to recruit the next generation of Southern Miss students, to get connected with your local alumni group, and to serve your community on behalf of Southern Miss. Let us know about the important things going on in your life, and we'll let you know what's going on here at your university. The university community is your family, and each of you can make a difference in the future of Southern Miss. I would also like to take a moment this afternoon to recognize our legacy families, which include graduating students with at least one parent who's a Southern Miss graduate. If our alumni parents and their graduating students will, please stand so you may be recognized. We are delighted to see so many alumni parents among the crowd, and we're even more grateful that your student chose to continue the Southern Miss legacy. Again, congratulations to all of you as graduates of the University of Southern Mississippi. And as we say, Southern Miss, thank you very much. Thank you, Jerry. Before we begin the conferral of degrees, I'd like to acknowledge that the University of Southern Mississippi will soon honor Mr. Lawrence W. Warren, President and Chief Executive Officer of Warren Paving Incorporated with a Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. I would encourage you to refer to page 115 in your commencement program to learn more about Mr. Warren and his exceptional contributions to South Mississippi and to the University of Southern Mississippi. I'll take a moment now, graduates, just to do one or two quick housekeeping matters as you begin to come across the stage. I'd like to ask you to consider using the hand sanitizer that we provided for you at your seat before and after you come across the stage, and I'll ask you to govern yourself accordingly as it relates to distance in the line between you and the person in front of you. I'd like to ask you if you would consider wearing your face covering while you're in the line, and when you hand your name card to the ceremonial reader as you enter the ramp. Once you get to the top of the ramp, and you prepare to actually walk across the stage when your name is called, you may choose to remove your face covering while you cross the stage, primarily for the photographs that will be taken. For those of you that do choose to remove your face covering while you're on the stage, please know that everybody here has been vaccinated fully. I'll be here to greet you, and I've received full vaccination and I don't intend to spread disease to anybody today or any day going forward, so we're going to be good. Uh, I will not be shaking hands, but uh, if you'd like to extend your fist for a fist bump or elbow for an elbow bump, that's certainly good with me, and I'm happy to do that. In lieu of a handshake, I'm excited to share that I will be presenting each of you with a special keepsake gift a commemorative letter opener that you can now see on the screen with the University of Southern Mississippi embossed on the handle. It is my hope, graduates, that you will keep this as a memento of all the possibilities that are now open to you as a graduate of the University of Southern Mississippi. And so now on to the main event. At this time, I will ask our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Stephen R. Mosier, to come forward for the conferral of degrees. Dr. Mosier. Good afternoon. 
Will the graduate for the Doctor of Education degree please stand? President Bennett, this graduate has been approved for graduation by his dean and faculty. I recommend that you confer upon him the degree Doctor of Education. Provost Mosier, on your recommendation, with the approval of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me as president of the University of Southern Mississippi, I confer upon this graduate the degree Doctor of Education with all of the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Please be seated. Will the graduates and candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree please stand? President Bennett, these graduates and candidates have been approved for graduation by their deans and faculty. I re recommend that you confer upon them the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Provost Mosier, on your recommendation, with the approval of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me as president of the University of Southern Mississippi, I confer upon these graduates and candidates the degree Doctor of Philosophy with all of the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. I will now ask Dr. Karen Coates, Associate Provost and Dean of the Graduate School to present each graduate and candidate. Will all the doctoral graduates and candidates and their major professors please come forward for the hooding and the awarding of diplomas. Jonathan Geramonte Anderson, graduating summer 2020, hooded by Dr. Noel Cochran. Doctoral project title, Attitudes and Knowledge in Identifying Progressive Educational Leadership. Kristen Albritton. Graduating fall 2020, hooded by Dr. Heather Annulus. Dissertation title, Organizational Stressors as Predictors of Burnout. Tequila Nicole Dollison, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Heather Annulus. Dissertation title, an exploration of the two-generation approach for single mother certificate or degree attainment. <laughs> Wendy Marie Wells, graduating spring 2020, hooded by Dr. Heather Annulus, dissertation title, The Relationship Between the Perceived Value of Professional Development, Job Satisfaction, and Intent to Leave. Carlton Peter Anderson, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Gregory Carter. Dissertation title, The Role of Elevation as a Control on Salt Marsh Upland Ecotones Along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Okay. Helen D. Olmy Graham, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Michael Darnell. Dissertation title, Migration Movement and Fishing Mortality of the Louisiana Blue Crab Spawning Stock. <laughs> Christian Paul Lagarde, graduating spring 2020, hooded by Dr. Cindy Godet. Dissertation title, Work-Life Balance, Perceived Differences of Teleworkers and Non-Teleworkers.
Lucia Giordano Ferris, graduating fall 2020, hooded by Dr. Ilyan Ilyev. Dissertation title, Well-Being Indicators, Social Globalization and Unaccompanied Child Migration from Central America. Thomas H. Rischel, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Ilian Ilyev, dissertation title, Semantic Classification of Multi-Dialectic Arabic Social Media. Shonda F. Barrett, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. John Kmeck. Dissertation title, Barriers and Enablers to Building Entrepreneurial Ecosystems as Perceived by Change Agents in the Workplace. <laughs> Keely Altamir, Altamir Bia Enemy. Graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. James Lambers. Dissertation title, On the Treatment of Bilinear Forms Involving Matrix Functions as Perturbations of Quadratic Forms. <laughs> Vivian Ashley Montefort, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. James Lambers. Dissertation title, a component-wise approach to smooth extension embedding methods. <laughs> Megumi Carly Oshima, graduating fall 2020, hooded by Dr. Robert Leaf. Dissertation title, A Management Strategy Evaluation of the Impacts of Interspecific Competition and Recreational Fishery Dynamics on Vermilion Snapper Romopletes Arab Rubens in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Gala B. Akari, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Robert Pauly. Dissertation title, Water Elite's Perceptions of Water Security in the Middle East and North Africa Region. Susan Ray Alanizi, graduating summer 2020, hooded by Dr. Robert Pauly. Dissertation title, Predicting Political Development After United States Military Assistance, Evidence from Case Study Analysis. <laughs> Mandy Dagold, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Robert Pauly. Dissertation title, Sustainable Development, a Qualitative Case Study Analysis of Development Strategies Utilized by the United States and China in Sub-Saharan Africa. <laughs> Alan B. Pompolis, graduating fall 2020, hooded by Dr. Edward Sayer. Dissertation title, A Haitian Diaspora as Human Capital and Agents of Change, Perceptions and Attitudes of the Haitian Diaspora as an International Development Actor. <laughs> Sarah R. Crane, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Joseph St. Marie. Dissertation title, Entrepreneurship and Economic Growth does gender matter? <laughs> Alan Douglas Boyette, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Jerry Wigert. Dissertation title, Microplankton Dynamics in the River-Dominated Mississippi Bight. Leah K. Locke, graduating spring 2021, hooded by Dr. Dimitri Neshev. 
dissertation title, Assessing the Real-Time Lagrangian Predictability of the Operational Navy Coastal Ocean Model in the Gulf of Mexico. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates earning doctoral degrees. Now I ask Dr. Coates to present the graduates and candidates for the specialist and master's degrees. Will the candidate for the specialist degree for the spring 2021 semester Please rise and remain standing. Provost Mosier, this candidate has been approved for graduation by the faculty in her college. She is ready to have her degree conferred pending completion of all degree requirements. Candidate, you may be seated. Now will the graduates who completed the master's degree in the spring of 2020 summer of 2020 or fall of 2020, please rise and remain standing. Provost Mosier, these graduates were previously approved for graduation by the faculty in their respective college, and they are ready to have their degrees conferred. Graduates, you may be seated. Now will the candidates for the master's degree for the spring 2021 semester please rise and remain standing. Provost Mosier, these candidates have been approved for the graduation by the faculty in their respective college. They are ready to have their degrees conferred pending completion of all degree requirements. Candidates, you may be seated. Will all the graduates and candidates for the specialist and master's degrees please stand? President Bennett, these graduates and candidates have been approved for graduation by their deans and faculty, and I recommend that you confer their degrees. Provost Mosier, on your recommendation, with the approval of the faculty, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as president of the University of Southern Mississippi, and pending completion of any remaining degree requirements, I confer upon these graduates and candidates their respective specialist and master's degrees with all of the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. Will all the graduates and candidates for the specialist and master's degrees please come forward and receive your diplomas. The following graduates have completed the master's degree in the spring of 2020. Aaron Wesley Romero Brosard. Gina Knitter. Christopher F. Marcel. The following graduates completed the master's degree in the summer of 2020. Saber Cayavet. Jenna R. Hartley. 
The following graduates completed the master's degree in the fall of 2020. Thomas Ellswick. Brandy Christina Willis. Tiffany Renee Kirsten. Olivia Louise Lestrade. The following candidate will complete the specialist degree in the spring of 2021. Julia Brooks. The following candidates will complete the master's degree in the spring of 2021. Caitlin Doris. Hannah Hart. Gregory Ross Laney. Shelby Cooley. Haley Harrison. Emily Elizabeth Gibson. Emily, Amelia Marshall. And Rachel Danielle Mosley. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates earning specialist and master's degrees. Now I ask the colleges to present their graduates and candidates for the baccalaureate degrees. Dr. Ellen Weinauer, Dean of the Honors College. Would all students who previously graduated or are graduating this afternoon from the Honors College please stand? Provost Mosier, as signified by the medallions they're wearing, these students have graduated or are graduating with Latin honors. Each one of them has completed a rigorous program of study that includes unique honors coursework, a comprehensive examination in their major, and an honors research thesis. Students' individual Latin designations are indicated in the commencement program and are reflective of each student's cumulative GPA. While their degrees are awarded by the college of their major, I'm proud to present them to you, and I ask the audience to recognize them for their achievements with a round of applause. <laughs> Students, please be seated. Now I would like to ask Amanda Rose Diard to stand and remain standing. Way back there. <laughs> Amanda has the distinction of carrying the presidential banner today because she has earned the highest GPA on the most USM hours of any Honors College student in this ceremony. Amanda, a nursing major from Raleigh, North Carolina, represents the highest standards of both the Honors College and the University of Southern Mississippi. Please recognize her and the excellence she represents with your applause. Congratulations, Amanda. You may be seated. Dr. Chris Winstead, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Will the graduates who completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Arts and Sciences in the spring of 2020, summer of 2020, or fall of 2020, please rise and remain standing. Provost Mosier, these graduates were previously approved for graduation by the faculty, and they are ready to have their degrees conferred. Graduates, you may be seated. Now, will the candidates for the baccalaureate degree in the College of Arts and Sciences for the spring 2021 semester 
please rise and remain standing. Provost Mosier, these candidates have been approved for graduation by the faculty and they are ready to have their degrees conferred pending completion of all degree requirements. Candidates, you may be seated. Dr. Jacob Breland, Associate Vice Provost for Business, Education, and Human Sciences. Will the graduates who completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Business and Economic Development in the spring of 2020 summer of 2020 or fall of 2020, please rise and remain standing. <laughs> Provost Mosier, these graduates were previously approved for graduation by the faculty and they are ready to have their degrees conferred. Graduates, you may be seated. Now, will the candidates for the baccalaureate degree in the College of Business and Economic Development for the spring 2021 semester please rise and remain standing. <laughs> Provost Mosier, these candidates have been approved for graduation by the faculty and they are ready to have their degrees conferred pending completion of all degree requirements. Candidates, you may be seated. Dr. Trenton Gould, Dean of the College of Education and Human Sciences. Will the graduates who completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Education and Human Sciences in the spring of 2020, summer of 2020, or fall of 2020, please rise and remain standing. Provost Mosier, these graduates were previously approved for graduation by the faculty, and they are ready to have their degrees conferred. Graduates, you may be seated. Now, will the candidates for the baccalaureate degree in the College of Education and Human Sciences for the spring 2021 semester please rise and remain standing? Provost Mosier, these candidates have been approved for graduation by the faculty and they are ready to have their degrees conferred pending completion of all degree requirements. Candidates, you may be seated. Dr. Lachelle Story, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Professions. Will the graduates who completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Nursing and Health Professions in the spring of 2020 or the fall of 2020, please rise and remain standing. <laughs> Provost Mosier, these graduates were previously approved for graduation by the faculty and they are ready to have their degrees conferred. Graduates, you may be seated. Now, will the candidates for the baccalaureate degree in the College of Nursing and Health Professions for the spring 2021 semester please rise and remain standing. <laughs> Provost Mosier, these candidates have been approved for graduation by the faculty and they are ready to have their degrees conferred pending completion of all degree requirements. Candidates, you may be seated. Will all the graduates and candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand? <laughs> President Bennett, these graduates and candidates have been approved for graduation by their deans and faculty, and I recommend that you confer their degrees. Provost Mosier, on your recommendation, with the approval of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me as president of the University of Southern Mississippi and pending completion of any remaining degree requirements, 
I confer upon these graduates and candidates their respective baccalaureate degree with all of the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. Will the graduates and candidates for the baccalaureate degree please come forward and receive your diplomas. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Arts and Sciences in the spring of 2020. Robin C. Belmonte Meineke. Nicole Wilson. Ladrica Latrice Atkins. Brittany Nicole Cowell. Charlotte Robinson Jurdy. Raven Simone Johnson. Tori Paige Manning. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Arts and Sciences in the summer of 2020. Christina Ebony Velma Creer. Breonna Janae Jones. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Arts and Sciences in the fall of 2020. Silvana Gabriela Chavez Cox. Andy Lee. Robert Edwin Seward. Caitlin Nicole Glerber. Gleber. Michael D. McMacken. Blake Ryan Agar. What's your name? Elmer Almondo Belmonte. Samuel Kramer Karambat. Sabrina Raleigh Duncan. Ariana Case Hansen. Shalisa Renee Hawthorne. Caitlin Alana Lambert. Carly Marie Myers. Edward Lavelle Scott. Holly Marie Willis. The following candidates will complete the baccalaureate degree in the College of Arts and Sciences in the spring of 2021. Hannah Elizabeth McDuffie. Jovan Fanny Carr. Devin Elaine Coutler. Sydney Nicole Crane. Stephen Matthew Davis. Vanessa Eckert. Keaton Ingram. Shanika Siobhan Rowe. 
Victoria Lillian Snyder. Angelica Berestegui. Kenzie Marie Wells. Kajif White. Roberta Catherine Tarota. Anthony Christopher Ganyard. Christopher Herrera. Timothy Scott Maloney. Angela J. Martin. Olivia McElwain. Suzanne E. Moore. Anna Grace Morgan. Christopher Wendell Powell. Wesley Roscoe Sumrall. Kaylee Nicole Thomas. Brianna Jo Trosclair. Thomas Peyton Vinson. Elise White. Novia Bacaleo. Taylor Keith Barron. Joseph Lonnie Bell. Jacqueline Shea Bloodsworth. Kevin R. Bounds. Kaylee Olivia Brooks. William Thomas Brown III. Kiara Shanika Sadie Burks. Corey J. Cacho. Catherine Grace Clark. Alexis Antoinette Crosby. Tyler Christopher Daniels. Braden Valerie Danio. Kimberly Lee Eubanks. Matthew Simon Fields. Jennifer Forstall. Jennifer Oriana Goodwin Nelson. Zane Amar Hashmat. Patrick Geistmeyer Heyman. Gabrielle Kaylin Howe. Lexi Nicole Jones. Casey Kelly. Andrew Joel Long. Manuel Lue Marabi. Mark William Mastrani. Morgan Gabrielle Maurice. Nathan Ranoil McNeil. Hannah Marie Meyer. Cameron Brady Mitchell. Mallory Paige Munson. Marcus D. Page Jr. Michelle E. Parata. Maggie L. Samblis. Brianna Saunders. 
Delia Nicole Sims. Andrew Paul Smith. Franklin Augustus Tape. William Tilly. Justin Allen Varga. Sarah Marie Wicks. Claire Elizabeth Willis. The following graduates completed a baccalaureate degree in the College of Business and Economic Development in the spring of 2020. Sierra D. Clark. Christina M. Hutton. The following graduates completed a baccalaureate degree in the College of Business and Economic Development in the summer of 2020. Sierra Marie Scheisser. Trinika Lachey Green. Crystal N. Hamilton. Michaela Elise Hears, Hires. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Business and Economic Development in the fall of 2020. Marie Elaine Hankins. Cassidy Marie Fountain. Jordan Lee Carroll. Leslie M. Irvin. Kaylin Nicole Espy. Caitlin Lee Fairchild. Tina A. Frith. Ashlyn Raquel McBride. Ricardo Verastri Mendez. Christopher Charles Warren. The following candidates will complete the baccalaureate degree in the College of Business and Economic Development in the spring of 2020, 21, excuse me. Lori Beth Fitzgerald. Nayla Fernandez Trujillo. Emily K. Hickman. Madison Elise Latham. Bradley A. Reynolds. Natrell A. Adams. Salvador Decola Shinish. Hunter Matthew Deschamps. Kenneth Tyler Lee Holloway. Riley D. Swilly. Caitlin L. Tibler. Renee Marie Al Alanis. Jaquana Lachey Anderson. Frida Blackman. Kirsten Palmer Brunson. Cooper Jacob Compretta. Austin Adair Corti. Donovan Von Dawson. Elizabeth Lee Gorski. Antoine Hasty. Summer Rain Irby. Monica Martinez. Tariq Rajai McGee. Kelly M. Murphy. 
Dewana Faye Parker. Bela L. Recker. Ashley Lynn Rosado. Rachel Rebecca Talley. Emily Vitek. Angel Waldrop. Catherine Weems. Janice Whittle. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Education and Human Sciences in the spring of 2020. Regina Lynn Rhodes. <laughs> Melissa M. Kajima, K K Kajiyama. Excuse me. Rochelle Kayleen Bin. Brandon Bao Huynh. Kristen Pace. Kristen Marie Stebbings. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Education and Human Sciences in the summer of 2020. Gertrude Elaine Kroon. Alicia R. Daughtery. Mercedes Lynn Jordan. Taylor Ryan Stockman. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Education and Human Sciences in the fall of 2020. Blaine Stiglitz. Denise DeWitt Johnson. Felicia Perry Hill. Desiree Divine Tucker. Joe Lewis Zollenkoffer, Jr. Jennifer Lynn Dean. Azaria Bianca Hill. Kayla Marie Lynch. Lori Parker. Kirsten Marie Sanjay. Cecil A. Edwards. Summer Jade Hawkins. Sarah Elizabeth Jones. Abigail Nicole Smith. The following candidates will complete a baccalaureate degree in the College of Education and Sci Human Sciences in the spring of 2021. Heather Lynn Gillespie. <laughs> Keely Thomas Pankoff. Ashley Renee Bowler. Maggie Bordelon. Yes, Maggie. Jennifer Lynn Casper. <laughs> Taryn Green. Jenna Hardcastle. Ariel Suzanne Henry. Lindsay Renee Lloyd Illich. Lindsay Renee Lewis. Linda Little. Destiny Lee Marks. Hannah R. Richek. Morgan Rocky. 
McKenna Christine Singh. Jillian Catherine Summerall. Brianne Nicole Woods. Jesse Alyssa Drain. Alexandria Michelle Elliott. Sarah E. Gorel. Olivia Little. Deanna Maharis Gratterall. Caitlin Marie Rutledge. Joshua Seymour. Candace Danielle Stevenson. Tess Conaway Ball. Samantha Lynn Brennecke. China Noel Bird. Anna Dabrowski. Hannah Camille Harwell. Tara K. Henderson. Adrian Sanquet Hubbard. Alexis Marie Johnson. Symmetria A. Johnson. Katherine Tomey Kurtz. Laya Morgan. Chastity N. Murphy. Justice Justin Lee Negron. Jennifer Ann Peterson. Jana Mallorca Robin. Courtney Elaine Rep. Paris Lachey Robinson. Israel Jarvis Russell. Morgan Page Seal. Jesse Joseph Gruich. Melody Alexa Howard. The following graduates completed the baccalaureate degree in the College of Nursing and Health Professions in the spring of 2020. <laughs> Leah Bowser. Casey D. Clayton. Christian Richardson. The following candidates will complete the baccalaureate degree in the College of Nursing and Health Professions in the spring of 2021. Amanda Rose Diard. Logan Aiden Brown. Kira Buckley. Tatia Joy Fleming. Joseph Noel Biamonte. Nayla Regina Bell. Catherine Binkley. Sydney Marie Cato. Michael Corey. Laura N. Davis. Kyla Davis. Jamie Dominguez. Emily Jade Farrell. 
Jaden Chantrees Hinton. Amanda Danielle Green. Haley Joel Griffin. James M. Gunn. Caitlin McKenzie Harris. Aubrey Lauren Moran. Christina Marie Perkins. Loretta Giovanna Rezar. Patricia Ann Shaw. Amanda Strickland. Sade Washington. Malika Lee Wilson. Wait a second to let everybody get back to their seat. It's sort of a long walk from here back there. I appreciate all the comments the graduates made to me coming across the stage. I wish that I could sometimes record them all <laughs> and write a little book of what graduates say to university presidents when they come across the stage. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Okay. Um, congratulations, how about that? <laughs> this, um, this ceremony brings to conclusion for many of you years of coursework, research, dissertation, and thesis writing, capstone projects, and other professional certification training. The process to get to this point has been rigorous. It has required a tremendous level of determination, a tremendous level of persistence and grit, and a sheer will to finish all degree requirements. And each of you have just done that and that is awesome, and we are all so very proud of you. You have arrived at this long-awaited milestone, and the world will expect great things of you now that you are a graduate of the University of Southern Mississippi. Like your families and your friends, the university is proud of your accomplishments. And we know that as you depart from this institution, you will find your way all around the world and carry with you more than 111 years of university history and tradition. Tradition requires that before graduation, the tassel of an undergraduate candidate be worn on the right-hand side of a mortarboard. After graduation, as a symbol of your new status as degree holders, the tassel is worn on the left. And so now, would you please move your tassel from the right to the left, signifying your status as baccalaureate degree holders from the University of Southern Mississippi. Now graduates, I know that you're excited, but I can tell you some folk in the stands are equally excited. Parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins and friends, they are so excited that you have reached this destination. We are just so happy and proud of you and congratulations to each of you. Before we close this afternoon's ceremony, I'd like to recognize a special graduating student. And I'd like to ask Miss Hannah McDuffie 
to begin making her way to the stage. Come on, Hannah. Y'all give her a little round of applause as she makes her way. Now, where I grew up back in the country, as somebody would be walking up, the pastor would say, give them a little walking music. Anybody else grow up like that? <laughs> Come on, Hannah. We'll get you here on my right hand side. Hannah, ladies and gentlemen, has served as president of the Gulf Park Student Government Association for the past two years. But her second term began just as the pandemic changed our world. Having been in public higher education now almost 30 years, I know that serving in this role during a pandemic is certainly not what any SGA president could have imagined that their leadership would include. But Hannah faced that challenge head on, and she was involved in institutional activities throughout the year, even from a distance when distance was required. She has been an exemplary representative of students on our Gulf Park campus, and I, as university president, are so grateful for her service. And so, Hannah, on behalf of the University of Southern Mississippi, all of our alumni and students, we thank you for your commitment and service as president of the Gulf Park Student Association. I am so proud of your accomplishments as a student leader and as an honors college graduate. And I look forward to hearing about the success that I know you will continue to achieve, to achieve in graduate school and beyond. And so if you would accept just a small bouquet of flowers from the university president on behalf of the institution for all that you've done. Now the bottom is a little wet because I brought her from Hattiesburg and I, I didn't want them to die before I made the presentation, so the bottom is a little bit wet, so be careful. If you'll accept that as a small token of our appreciation. And then what rarely happens at commencement ceremonies is the university president shall now ask Ms. McDuffie if she would like to address the graduating class. Well, they didn't tell me I was going to be doing this. Um, so thank you, Dr. Bennett. Um, but I would just like to say congratulations to everyone, both that graduated um, the fall of 2020, summer 2020, spring 2020, um, and to all of our uh, graduates today. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. It's been a good two years, and you've been a big part of our support. So thank you so much. I want to again recognize and thank our faculty and staff for their dedication and service to this wonderful institution, the University of Southern Mississippi. And I also want to extend special thanks to each individual and volunteer who worked countless hours to organize an entire week of commencement ceremonies, all to make this a special occasion for our graduates and their families. This is our eighth commencement ceremony this week, and we're happy and proud and honored and feel grateful to, be have, to have been able to do eight for our students. I do want to recognize lots of volunteers, lots of people that help put commencement together, but I feel compelled in this moment to identify one individual in particular uh, here at our Gulf Park campus along our, our coast, and that's Robin Johnson. Here's Robin. Robin, come on, come, just come so everybody can see you. You don't have to come up on the stage, but just come. Robin has been, Robin is like a rock star on the, on the coast, and she's a rock star at, uh, on our Gulf Park campus. 
And uh, so much of what we do and so much of our success is tied to committed educators like Robin. Uh, Robin has worked these eight commencements in Hattiesburg and she's worked them here on the coast. And Robin, we are so grateful for what you do for our university. We're so grateful for your dedication and commitment to our students. We're so grateful to have you as part of the coast community and the state of Mississippi is grateful to have you as a resident. So thank you for helping to make this celebration and ceremony so special for our students. Thank you, Robin. Okay, the alma mater is the only thing that stands between us and eating. I'm just gonna put it out there. <laughs> So whatever dinner plans or graduation party plans or reception or whatever you had planned, the only thing that's going to stand between you and that event is our beautiful alma mater. And so at this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Aubrey Garrett Benefield to please come uh, and, and perform our alma mater for us. Uh, following the alma mater, we will recess, and I'll ask everybody to just stay in place so that the recessional can occur. And then finally, I want to again thank everybody for joining us that's uh, here in person and those of you who are joining us online for this very important celebration. And I want to thank each of you for being a part, a critical part, of the University of Southern Mississippi and all of our successes. Please stand for the alma mater. and sheltering 